Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Chudon Plastering. These folks emailed me this picture here and said, gee, would you remove this stucco uh, so that the plumber can get inside this wall, sewer lateral or some type of water pipes? And I said, um, well, why can't your plumber do it? He said, they don't want to do it and we need this done today. So uh, judging from the picture, I said, okay, I'll remove it. Um, Jay and I just got here and I was looking at the vent and I thought, gee, there's a vent right here. We don't know if it's uh, wood, if it's a stud house or if it's wood. If the stud's here, then I'll be in the field here. So, of course, I had to crawl into the house and check it out. And yes, it does have siding. So, I'm going to follow their outline. And what, what I'm doing is I'm going to break a hole about three inches. I'm going to start here and I'll work my way over. I'll show you how I do that in a minute. Uh, this thing is real loud. Uh, I'm going to break out and then we're going to cut the wires right here and pull them back and pull and try to salvage any paper that we can. As I was under the house, there's no paper left on any of this stuff over here. It's just beat up gone. So we're going to do the best we can with deteriorated paper. But the idea is we're going to break this out here. I'll show you how we do it real gently like. I'll, I'll start on their line because that's what they want broke out. And I'll work my way back about three inches. Then I want to peel back. Any of you guys take a saw and just saw cut it? You can do that, but then you still got to break back three inches anyway. So, might as well just do it right the first time. I'll show you how we do it. Okay. A little bit at a time. A little bit out of time, guys. We're going to take it all the way up. We're not going to stop short. We're going to take it right to the window. Probably no flashing left anyhow. And then after we do that, we'll we'll cut it and pull it open. I'll show you how to do that stuff too, guys. All right, guys. We got the plumber here, yeah. Ralph. We got the homeowner here, Edwin. We're having a party, guys. Anyhow, getting back to what what I was showing you, folks. Now that I got it broken out properly with. Uh, uh, pneumatic tool. We cut these guys here and what I've been doing is taking this little old bitty cat's paw and just pulling that away. Now, let's see when Ralph comes back in here, when, once I remove this last chunk we're out of here. Ralph will come in and there's a stud here, a stud here, he's going to take a sawzall and cut this wood off. But if you saw cut it originally, this got to be done anyhow guys, so you might as well get it out of the way. Now I can use my hammer and yank this piece off, but this, this makes it work fast. Excuse me, Ralph. This thing is no joke. That's a left-handed one. I'm yeah, and notice I'm wearing gloves, guys. I have gloves with no fingers. If I took the fingers off, believe me, this thing could grab one of the gloves with no fingers and just rip the shit out of it and take it to the bone. How do I know? Because I've done it before. Okay. You didn't mean to tell me, Ralph, you didn't want to do this, no, this glorious not. work. Like I said, all your tools are left-handed, and I, all I have is right-handed. <laughs> oh, well. And then we just fold it over like an accordion, blam, and Jason gets the luxury of throwing this on the truck because there's no glory to tear off, guys. Yeah, and he's going to cut right through this membrane anyhow. Oh, fortunately, he got these one by sixes he'll cut right between the studs he'll do his stuff they'll call us back a week month <laughs> and we'll put it back together anyway guys my name is kirk i'm with kirk giordano plastering we thank you folks for watching and as usual we'll see you guys on the next one